Hello everyone, and welcome to the last episode. As you might have seen recently from uh, an email that YouTube sent you, they are changing their advertisement guidelines. Previously, I was able to pick a setting in my channel settings that disabled all advertisements on all of my videos. I have deliberately set my channel to be that way basically ever since I started making videos because I want them to be something you can put on in the background on any device, including a mobile device where you have no option really to install an ad blocker, for example. Just have them running and not be interrupted by advertisement, which is always louder and flashier and brighter and more intense than the level of video content that I wished to create. Because I always hate when I'm doing something in the kitchen, for example, and I just need some light entertainment while I'm cooking. So I go on YouTube and basically every video I click is just infested with advertisements. I want it to be different from that. That is now no longer possible because YouTube has reserved the right to just put advertisements in my video anyway. And obviously they will take all the money from those advertisements. Now, I don't really care about the financial aspect of it. I have never intended to make money off of YouTube. I would never have turned on advertisements for any of my videos. Even the ones that were slightly successful at some point, I was never even tempted to, to really put um, any kind of monetization on my channel. And I'm still not. So the, the only options really would be to stop YouTube, which is what I'm choosing. Or alternatively, I could probably still set all of my videos to be 18 plus. Um, this would make them much harder to find in the searches, which would certainly decrease their reach, but that's not necessarily an issue. But in many countries, at least in my country, I cannot watch an 18 plus YouTube video without proving my age to YouTube. And the fact that my Google account that I'm using to log in to YouTube is like 12 plus years old, that's not enough. They believe I might have been less than six years old when I first made that account. So I would still have to provide to them proof that I'm 18 or older. Now, if you live in a country where you've get, gotten that pop-up and they've asked for your credit card information or a copy of your ID card or driver's license or whatever, it's obviously your choice, but I strongly recommend not to give them that information. I know it says we're only using this to determine your age, but this is a big internet company we're talking about. They're going to take that information and just put it on a secure server, just in case. And a few years down the line, you will read some news line, uh, some, some news uh, heading that, uh, oops, they forgot to secure their secure server with a password and someone got all of that information. As has happened probably around 5 billion times this year alone. So do not give them that information. And I don't want to encourage people to do it by making it a necessity to watch my videos. Now, if you get a video like this and it's not, if it's just a single video, I recommend you download the video. There are plenty of services for that. Just download it. You can watch it then. It's a bit inconvenient, but at least you don't have to give your credit card information to YouTube. Bear that in mind. Uh, beyond that though, I don't, I don't think it's a viable option to set all of my videos to be 18 plus. I think that would still prevent advertisements from running on them because they would probably be quite scared of that. I also don't really believe any advertisers want to be associated with my videos because they are mature and sometimes controversial in setting. But that's not a risk I'm willing to take because the algorithm that determines that sort of stuff is flawed anyway. So. Um, I can basically no longer provide the, the video experience that I wish to provide, so I decided to stop with all of the Let's Play style content. I might still occasionally do something like a tutorial or a video guide, 
Um, I still think those have value, and unlike a Let's Play, which is supposed to be a background thing, to my mind, those would be something that requires more attention anyway, would be a lot shorter, and therefore you would watch it by itself, not as part of a playlist or as part of a background entertainment uh, setup. In that case, I still strongly recommend you use an ad blocker, but if the ads are running, then you know you're gonna have to suffer through them or skip them or whatever uh, the solution you choose to employ. And then you get the content of the video, and then you can shut down the channel again and never have to think about it again. So that will still be something I might be doing. No promises on any of that, but that's the the gist of my plan. Um. Yeah, I, I also recommend, of course simply because ads are just, just awful, just run an ad blocker. I know there are those who tell you that you're stealing money from creators that way, and to some extent I guess that's true, but basically any large creator at this point has a Patreon. So if you think, I really like, insert YouTuber here, and I want to support him, give him $5 a month on Patreon. He probably gets more from that than from your video views. $5 a month, or something you can afford. Um, it's probably not going to hurt you too much. And the only thing that really happens is YouTube doesn't really get that cut anymore. And if that forces YouTube to change their way or to be a little less dicky about their behavior, or even just if it forces a viable alternative to crop up, all of that is fine. So at least for my videos, which I'm not deleting, I'm just not making any more, I strongly advise you to use Adblock. You're not taking away any money from me. You're only taking away money from YouTube, who are currently making a lot of money. I know they're somewhat worried about TikTok taking away their like video related income, but um, for obvious reasons, TikTok is no alternative for me. I've also looked around a bit and just like a while ago, there are no alternatives to YouTube. This is nothing. There's like a random selection of video services that claim to be alternatives. Um, nothing for this type of video I create. Um, the sort of long and therefore large video files of fairly monotonous background content. There's, this is nothing like that. Um, I'll plop a link down the description to my Twitch channel. I occasionally stream there. So if you're interested in my personality for some reason, then firstly seek help. And secondly, I occasionally stream there and you can find more me-focused content than the video game-focused content on my channel. And that's really all there is to say it. Uh, probably for the last time ever. I hope you enjoyed this question mark. And have a nice day. Bye bye.